Here's a data table showing the velocity of two cars at one second intervals. This data table is fairly long. It goes down uh, 20 rows to time of 20 seconds. But in principle, it could be hundreds of rows, hundreds of lines of data. And it could contain many columns of data. It can get quite complicated in, in sophisticated spreadsheets. Now notice that as I scroll down here, the headings of the columns disappear. They've scrolled out of view. And that could be a problem in a complicated spreadsheet where you're, uh, you're way down in the spreadsheet and you're trying to remember what was column C, what was column B, what does that represent. It would be nice to have the, the headings of the columns always visible. And there are two ways to accomplish that. One is to select the row right under the last one containing the headings and then go to the View tab. Find the Freeze Panes command, click on that, and hit Freeze Panes. Notice that under row number two, there's now a solid line. So when I scroll down, row two and row one also stay, uh, stay put. And so you can be scrolling down hundreds of rows hundreds of lines of data, and your column headings are still there. Very handy. To undo it, just go back to the View tab, Freeze Panes, and select Unfreeze. There's another way to do this, by the way. If you look over here in the uh, right-hand margin of the window, right above the scroll up arrow, there's this little thing there that you can click on and drag down. What this does is it splits the window into two separate scrollable windows. I can scroll this independently of the bottom half. Here, let me, let me move that up here. So I can scroll these now independently of each other. So that's another way of looking at um, two separate parts of the same spreadsheet easily. It doesn't necessarily even have to be the top and the rest. It can be two parts in the middle of the spreadsheet. So um, that is very handy. To undo it, just grab that little doohickey and bring it right up back to the top. And now you're back to a single scrolling window.